Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of What a Horse. Got Jerry Williams yes. with me again today. Mm -hmm. But we just had some good shows. We had some real good shows. Two yeah. weeks in a row. Two, right, yep. right out of a thousand horses. Yeah. Can't ask nothing. You can't ask no that. better than that. I tell you what, we got some announcements, but before we do, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and then we'll be right back. That'll right. work. Is that good with you? That'll work. Got to check with my man. <laughs> we'll be right back after this short pause. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Subaru. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Subaru best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Subaru number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Subaru number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Subaru and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, Jerry, we got two shows coming up this weekend, the 11th and the 12th, or the 10th and the 11th, Alabama A&M. That's going to be inside. It's going to be a good one. Joe Cotton and Keith Ashire is going to do the judging. You can contact uh, Gary Wayne Smith at 256-709-5661. Show starts at 6 p.m. Friday night. 5 p.m. Saturday night. That's going to be a... Oh, that'd be a real good show. I can remember show. they had one yeah. down there years ago. That's a good place good. to have a horse show. Real good. Drive, right weather. Yeah. It's right off the four lane. Yeah. Good. Then the following week, 16th and 17th in Belfast at the SWB Showgrounds, it's going to be a, the classic. And I'm going to tell you, Joni Janae sent me this information. Chad Williams is going to be the judge. Start time 6 p.m. They're going to have two two-year-old classes, one uh, Friday night, one Saturday night, or one Thursday night, one Friday night. First place, $500, and if it's one of the horses that Lane Leverett started, uh -huh. additional 250 Now, that's, that's both good. nights. That's pretty. Work. That is. That's... Lane Leverett could, couldn't let Joni out do it. Yeah. <laughs> jump in there, too. You know how that is. You work for him. No, I don't work a for lot Lane. A people ask me yeah. about that. See, you knew a lot about his horses. <laughs> But that, that's called the Mary Dale Kilgore Classic. I think that is, that, that's a great tribute to yes, Mary Dale because mm -hmm. she, she loved them horses. She loved them. She loved them a lot. Christmas in July, June 28th and 30th, first time out. Now, this is the first time a two-year-old has been in the ring. Right now, they're looking at $750 in the winter pot for the winter, $250 of that's Lane Leverett. He, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. I'm, well, Lane, I'm going to start one. I don't know. It's been first in the seat, and, and I'm going to ask you to put 250 down. <laughs> Maybe you will. You know, Joni, when she was with the uh, academy, uh, they accomplished a lot of things. Yeah. I, just, I wish they'd get that back and get her in there again because she does a good job. Uh, did you see our buddy uh, 
plant this weekend? Yeah, I did. I, I uh, wish we, I wouldn't have, but I did see him. He, he's a, a, I hate to see him. <laughs> I do. He, uh, he, he is a piece of work, but everybody talking about, th this is the black eye for our industry. Yes. I, I made a post about it, and it, I, I worded it wrong, which I shouldn't have. I, I should have changed the way it worded. But this guy gives a major black eye to us, and it's, it's not good, but he's got people everywhere doing videos for him, doing one thing and then another. And they're just foolish. I mean, they believe what he says. They were streaming. And people got to realize when Clance C is there, he's going to hunt anything he can use against this industry. You're exactly right. And he can take and make a good horse look bad. Yeah. So if we've got one that shouldn't be in the ring, he can make that one look a whole lot worse. You're exactly right. Those are things we got to watch for, because those are the things that hurt us. And I, I just want to bring that up. Another thing is inspections. We know that uh, we're doing real good, but not that many violations. I talked to uh, Tim, and he said, Jerry, he said, they're bringing great horses up here. He said, they, they look great. And, and I went back there and videoed some of the inspections. Our deal is this, these guys, for show, inspect according to the law. Yes. And they, I mean, sometimes people leave and they ain't real happy because they say, well, you just can't show. But it's like Tim said, said, Jerry, I can't do nothing about a horse moving. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. If he moves, he moves. Now, I may not think anything's wrong with him, but if he moves, he moves, and yeah. we've got to take action. So I understand that. But what we all need to look at is we have not had the USDA at a show other than a trainer show around here. Yeah. We videoed them on Friday night, their first night, and they were pretty good. You know, they didn't get out of hand. Saturday night, we did not video them, and they started stretching the rubber band. So these are things that, that we know. So I know they got a job. I do. Yeah. But at the same time, I also know that a lot of them come in here assuming the worst. I've had too many people say, well, let me see their feet. Well, this isn't what we were told. Even the three independent veterinarians that they called in said, you know, this wasn't what we were told at all that we was going to see. Said nothing like it. Yeah. That's what people get for listening instead of looking and checking their self. Here comes Big Al. That was the Iron Door, but he put on show. Yeah, he did. Uh, you know, the biggest thing on his inspection, you know, Hatfield and them, they checked them horses, but I mean, they know how to handle a horse. A lot of times, the experience I didn't run across is a lot of BMOs get the horses, and sometimes the way that they go by to touch the horse is totally wrong, or whatever. Well, you know? they, I watched a big old boy try to check one, and you could tell he was scared to death of the horse. Yes. Because he, he kept reaching out trying to touch the horse and keep the horse at a good distance. That horse moved, and he jumped back. Yeah. Well, he's scared to death. That horse can tell that. That's you and, exactly right. And it, they sense it. That's why I, I told people, I said, y'all think it's crazy, but anybody that watched Yellowstone can remember when Beth, she got afraid on her horse because she's scared of horses. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the cow hands, I can't think of which one he was, one played guitar. He gets out there and he says, this horse can feel your nervousness and it affects him. Don't be nervous. And, and that's true. That, that I mean, is that, very true. That is real true. So it... it these are things that, if you don't know a horse, if you've not been around a the horse, then I guarantee you any one of our DQPs know 10 times more, 100 times more than a VMO. Yeah, because they're there. around it all the time, you know, and, and that's what I'm saying. But a horse can, can feel when somebody is tense or scared of them or whatever. And that, well, that's something that, that affects yes. us when the government is here. And I'm not, I'm not down in them. No. I, I mean, I'm all for the HPA. But what I am not for is the overstep of the HPA 
and people making false statements and, and taking video out of context and using it against us or altering it in any way. And, I mean, I, I spent two years in court with Clint Sabre because I bought the video rights. Yes. It didn't have nothing to do with the First Amendment. It had to do with my right to buy video rights and distribute them where I wanted. I didn't care if he used it as long as he did not alter it. Yes. Now, when you start altering it, I got a problem with it. And uh, that was why we went to court. But it, it worked out well. We won, which is well and fine. But it's still he can still go out here and video and say what he wants to. Nobody questions it. Yeah. And, and that, that jury is... Uh, I mean, that, that's just a sore spot with me. Oh, it is. With everybody, you know. I mean, that hurts everybody's livelihood, you know. That hurts my livelihood. That hurts, you know, all the trainers that, and families and stuff like that. And, you know, without this horse, I don't know where I would be well, you, tax right shops. now. Yeah, tax shops and everything. So it's it just, uh, I don't know, it, re it really gets to me, especially when you go and you see some of these people that are standing out there the other night when we come in. Boy, this woman was screaming bloody murder telling me to get out of here, get out of here. And she doesn't know me. Yes. But yet she was out there screaming all these insinuations. I mean, I just laughed at her. I mean, I couldn't help but laugh at her. It's either that or throw a rock at her. If I threw a rock at her, I'd be in trouble. So I laughed at her. But uh, they, they do this and they don't know. These people that ran around around out there, just round and around taking pictures of the head, the feet, the tails, the front and back, the kids riding all of this, they take it and if they just said, here was all these horses at a horse show. But CJ got a video of Clint getting his background to where nobody was behind him, talking on his cell phone, saying nobody's here. Well, CJ panned away from him and where he was at, there wasn't nobody behind him. And this was on the night it rained, so there yes. wasn't, you know what I mean? But you go Friday night, Saturday night, a whole lot more people there. He yeah. wasn't doing that. So there's a difference between telling the truth and telling a lie. And when you don't tell the whole truth, you only tell part of it, you're telling a lie. So. You, you're right. You know, half of the people that he gets talking to and tell all this stuff, you know, they just spend one day at a horse barn and see how these horses are treated. And everything. I mean, these horses are treated up to the highest of everything. When they look at them, remember when Colorado came in here, Colorado State Veterinary. They came in. They were going around to all the barns. First thing one guy says, "I want to see his feet." Come on. When they go over, mom, I said, "What's wrong?" This wasn't what we was told. I said, "Don't listen to what you're told by people." that want to hurt this horse. That's right. Look at the horse. Judge it for what the horse, horse is. is. It's simple. I mean, it doesn't take a, a scientist or anything else. You look at a horse, you're gonna, you're gonna tell if his foot's all banged up, beat up, and, and if it's not. And I've seen them say, well, it's open lesion, but you couldn't see it. Uh, well, he, he's got a scuff mark right here, but you can't see it. He moved, but nobody saw it. But I felt it. I mean, stuff, I just, uh, I'm all for this. I'm all for the HPA protecting the horse. Oh, yes, that's right, me too. Let's do it the right way. Let's do it the honest way. Let's don't say we show in a big log chain when everybody knows we show in a little six-ounce chain. chain. That's right. Let's just tell the truth. If the truth can't get it done, then, fella, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yep. Simple. You're right. All right. How many are you going to show this weekend? I think I got about five or six going to show. show this weekend? Mm -hmm. So you're yeah. going to Alabama or you're going north? I'm going to go both. You're going to go? Yeah. I'm, I'm going, going to both. Alabama. I'm going to go to I both. I talked to some people down there, plus it's inside. Yes. If it rains, you're going to get wet that, and I ain't. That's, that's right. Going to to. I'm going to be inside watching. <laughs> Besides, I believe the last time I was there, they had a big popcorn machine. Yeah. They had that in Columbia this week, and everybody <laughs> tearing it up. But one boy came up with a good idea. He had one bag a little bit bigger than the rest of them. He said, 
we'll sell this for three bucks and give them a refill. Some of them will come back, some of them won't. Well, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Though. That There's is. A bunch of people. But then you look up, and here comes some of them old guys like me. They got that box. <laughs> they're, they're, they're ready for they're their, ready their refill. refill. Yeah. They like CJ when he goes to a, a restaurant and they got a refill on the drink. Yeah. Bring me another. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at some video. We always got video. Smoky Mountain. This right here was one up there, black listener. Dwight Brooks wanted this to be on here. Dwight's a good guy, but Summer yeah. Brooks now, she can ride a wild she can ride. Lady. She can really ride. Oh, she can. She, she's a good showman. Sets up in the saddle, got good hands. She got them hands up there like Ronnie yeah. Spears. Mm -hmm. The black listener. That was one good one. Yeah. But we got we got more because we got after that we got fun show, and we had a great fun show. Over 500 horses. A real good uh, fun show. That was uh, I don't know. I was I was real happy. Had a lot of quality horses. We had a lot of quality horses. This was, oh yeah. So I mean it was, but we got victory passes from the fun show. We're gonna look at. <laughs> Right there, Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Carol Baxter. I tell you what, this horse won six shows in a row. Six. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Jimmer, he's standing out there at Sugar Creek. I told Carol, I said, you got a great mare there. And that's a good advertiser for Jimmer. That's a real nice mare. Oh, it is. Ron Spears walked by and said, who's got that gray mare out there? <laughs> That's Dale Watts. I'd like to have her. Yeah. <laughs> She's nice. She's very nice. She's got to walk to her now. Yep. Head shake. She can get it done. Then you got Honor and Salute and Kayla Malcolm for Carrie the Army. I tell you what, that young lady can flat ride. She a can horse. ride. Just back up, look out, and get ready. She can. She's showing more and more now. And I'm gonna tell you, a hard working son of a gun too. Oh, she, she is. You all, you go out there. She's she's, she's doing hard. rap. She's doing wash job. She whatever it takes. Kayla is in there doing. A lot of. Cause her dad was a good one anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's. I tell you what, though, Jerry, a lot of young people, especially ladies now, that enjoy the horse, they'll get in there and do whatever it oh, takes. Oh, you're We've right. We've even got female blacksmiths. Yep. Right, here's quite an honor and John Allen Calloway for Beth Beasley. I really like that mare now. Yeah. I get a little rough on her up there in Columbia with Beth riding her, but I tell you what, a whole lot of talent right there. She's a big mare. Yeah, she's a real big mare. This is our road junior. And he was reserved in his class. Yeah. I thought he looked awful good. Awfully good. I tell you, definitely got a bunch of, of real good horses. She does. She, got, she has she, some real good. She has some real good horses. She's got two girls that can flat jockey yes. some of them too. Mm -hmm. Callaway and them doing them a real good job. They are. Right here, Gigi's majestic and Jordan Howe. William Bradford. I talked to Anna and she said, You think George will look as good on that horse as Elsie? I said, I doubt it. But I said, He did put on pretty good show. So, yeah. So, Jordan, you didn't pass the beauty contest, but you did pass the riding test. And he does do a good job. Yeah. Right. Oh. 
Right there is my ticket to ride and race she may tice her. She's fixing to change her name. Oh, yeah. Sure mm -hmm. is. She's going to be an Abernathy. Ray Shoemate Abernathy. That sounds right. <laughs> uh, she can ride a horse, too, now. Yeah, she can, but Sandy can, too. Now. Yeah, Sandy is a real Sandy good rider. Sandy can flat ride. One thing about it, her shoeing bill will go down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen a wife pay a husband yet. <laughs> I got to spend a lot of time with them when they had horse with Tim Gray yeah. and Billy. Yeah. And good people. They good are. people. Pro, so I'm here to tell you now. Gala did one heck of a job with this horse show. The Big Tail family, amateur 15, 2 and under, mares and gilding. Pro V1. Told Kayla, I'd, I'd never seen her ride. She said, I very seldom yeah. ride, maybe every now and then to celebrate her. Told she need to do more of it. Yeah, that's right. They run a uh, Watson Roofing. They okay. do roofing in Georgia and Tennessee, all around the Southeast. Here's Harley Quinn and Beth Collins, amateur novice winner. You know, she left the horse show and went home to haul hay. There you go again, about the women, they work hard. That's right. If they like so it, they gonna work me, hard. She told me she had a lot of hay she had to get up. Yeah. Tammy Triplett, same way. Now, Tammy Triplett's a farmer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> way to go, Beth. You got it done. And right there's Mr. Heisman and Bruce mm -hmm. McDonald. That horse that's been good for a long time right there. I'm going to tell you, I love it. I, I literally love that horse. Bruce does a fantastic oh, yeah. job showing. But he, he just, he just, he's good, period. Yeah. He's one of these horses that you just have to get him out, warm him up, and let him go. Let him go, that's right. Your classic horse. Here's first night out in Alley Joe Jacobs. Country Pleasure Youth fan favorite. And she was a fan. Everybody gets yeah. behind Alley Joe. Oh, yeah. She, she likes to ride now. Hey, win, lose, draw. She don't she care as long as she's out there riding. Long she get to ride a horse. Jake told me he had to get her a little spotted horse just to ride around the farm. <laughs> She's wanting to ride everything in there all over the farm. That, that's what our youth is right there. Yep. The love of horses. Have you ever watched her when she was down watching the inspections or watching somebody? She's studying. I mean, you can tell she's watching everything they do. Me and Pocahontas, Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong, Mares and Gilding, Tanner winner. Me and Pocahontas. Allison got her a new ride this weekend. Tell you what, we got some great mares. Oh yeah, we got some real good mares. Some real good mares. Me and Pocahontas, something else. Right 
Right there is a Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley. Tell you what, I thought she put on well. Oh, show. yeah, she did. She I put did. on a real good show. I thought she was smoking it. A little horse like a machine. Gets it done. Gets it done. And she's good at riding, too. Yeah. Here's I'm Sky Black and Kayla Balkum. That's another. Now, she was in yeah. there in some deep water. Oh, yeah, that was a big class. That's a real nice horse. That's what you call a show pleasure horse right there. Is it? Yep. Oh, Jake. I tell you what, yeah, they can say what they want to. I watched that class off close, and I thought there was between two horses. This one right here and that gray horse. Yes. Now, buddy, they both put on a show. I am, you know, and Jake Jacobs. Part performance amateur. Now he was reserved in the class. And Magic Line carried the army. Now, he was in that class. I thought he made yeah. a great show, too. Two horse flat walking. That was a real good class there. Yes, it was. That it was stout. Was good. It was awfully stout. Nice ones in there. Oh, yeah. Right here's Dark Rain and Taylor Walters from Molly Walters. Amateur pony winner. Did she put on show? Yeah. I was that can flat and get it. She had him going like it. It was Edgar, except she's a lot prettier than that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, she can ride a horse. Yes, yeah, she can. Her and she the works at it. Yeah. And that's something else. These, these women seem to work at it a lot harder than the men. Oh, yeah. I ain't knocking the men. I am one. But it yeah. just seems like they work harder at getting to know their horse oh, yeah. and working with their horse than the men do. there. Don't tell me she ain't leaving in style. Dixie Road and Leak Well. I'm here to tell you. Oh, he's, ain't one he's thing wrong with this horse. My name is not on the That's papers. right. And I'm not training. That's it. <laughs> i tell you what, he's But now he's a good one now. I know it's that Link have, they say well, he, he got his two number. nights in a row in Mississippi. Yeah. And, and look at that wall. Timed up. Link and got they, his number. But you know what they said? They said he put that web lick on him that oh, yeah. he used to. Mm-hmm. Oh, I tell you, old Link works at it hard. He does. I seen him this morning over there, and he was just Every now and, and then, he'll have breakfast with us, but most of the time, he calls down there, and they, when he gets there, they hand him a sandwich, and he's yeah. gone. He's flat got this one. Oh, yeah. Him. Right here is my Maserati Fury, or what? I cannot pronounce that in. Chris Sand for Karen Bean, Heart Pleasure winner. And he's getting with it. Yep, he is. If you look there, he's breaking almost high as that second pole. Yeah.
Old Chris is getting real good with them Park Pleasure horses like that. That is a Havender and Knox Blackburn, three-year-old stallion winner for Bruce and Robin McDonald. You know, he showed another in Columbia that I thought they were going to tie him to it. He's yeah. good, real good. But I love this one right here now. Love the coat, color, everything about it. Yeah, he got a president about himself. Got a great head shape. Sets the brow. He just. Uh... I can see a big difference in between this horse from two yo year yes. to now. I mean, oh, he was yeah. good as a two yo, but he's real good now. Oh man, he was good, but he's something. Yeah. And here's the hoss and Allie Joe Jacobs. Poor Allie Joe. He ain't gonna beat that. She gets it done. She does get it done. She oh, yeah. the out of you work. Here's the sky coach. You recognize that guy? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> Big Jeremy. Yeah. I'll tell you what, he made a great show in that class. Yeah, he made a real good show. That's a real nice horse, that horse. Leanne has to be proud of it. Leanne Harrison owns this horse. <laughs> I like when Leanne comes to show, she, she cooks real well. <laughs> I say that all the time, but she just, <laughs> she, like does, she knows how to cook. She knows dog. how to cook. Well, Leanne, I can't wait. I'm, I'm going to slip in there. there. She, she likes to feed you. I'm going to sit down at the table. I might have to put on one of your caps or something, <laughs> but I'm going to sit at the table. But that horse made a real good show right there. Right here he is, Joe Paul. And Minky Groover took the state class for Strickland and Porterfield. Jane was awful proud of that oh, one yeah. right there. Got one of them slow rocking chair cameras there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, had a real good fun show. Straight across the board. Five, yeah. What 503, 504 horses? I think 504, I believe yeah. it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know there's quite a few. There's we're a bunch right of them. At nine, we're right at a thousand for two weeks. Yeah. And that's that's pretty good and very few violations. We're gonna take a short pause for our sponsors and be right back because we got a whole lot more video to go through. <laughs> Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. 
A Jen Wynn is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. All right. I guess now we're, we're done with the fun show. Yes. We had a great fun show. Everybody left happy. Mm -hmm. I know some of them left with tears in their eyes, but that's all right. They left happy. Happy. We had that's a lot right. Of horses. So now we're going to go to Columbia, Tennessee, and we're going to see some good ones because there, there were some, well, some real good, good horses. horses. Yeah. And we found out one thing. You don't have to be, win a big class to sell for a nice price. Oh, yeah. Because they, they, we had Twisted Honor sold this week. So yeah, a lot of world champions showed this show. That's right. Ready to go. Right here, Polly Gray and Tanner Birch. Now, right here you go. He won the two-year-old married gilding class, formerly owned by Shane Porterfield. He is now owned by Tim Brown. Okay. Tim, if you're in a buying mood, come see me. I got something I'll say. What Shane told me, he said, Jerry, I don't know that horse anymore, but I'm going to run my last victory yeah. pass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, they, they went back and forth most of the night until they got this deal done. That's a nice mare. Yeah, he is. Real nice mare. Mm -hmm. Right here is Manning and Taylor. I'm going to tell you what. You look at that horse right there. He, she made a perfect show on that horse. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was flat walking. She went down that far rail, and, buddy, I'm going to tell you, I, I just said that I could. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Shaking and walking. That's what it's all about. Tell you what, now she can ride. Yes, yeah, she can. There she is. That horse goes in doing that during the celebration. They better, everybody better be looking out. Because he was great. Right here is I am Luther James and Jordan Dotson or Shane Porterfield. Oh, Jaron, he works, he works hard at that coat stuff now. He's he's a good one doing them coats. He got enough help out there. Oh, yeah. Well, Jesse, his daddy, yeah. was real good. They've been doing it for years and years. Well, I tell you what, that's a pretty thing right there. Oh, that's a real pretty horse. Real pretty coat. Good job, Jerome. 
looking good. Yep. Right here's Georgia, Florida line and Knox Blackburn for Bruce McDonald. Doing that deliberate walk, ain't he? Yeah. That's that flat shot, go get them walk. Oh, let's take a look at our blue river butter and it's your pleasure to visit. I'll tell you what, Bruce does a great job. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He does. Here you go, Bruce and Robin McDonald's Good deal, Knox. Right here, Youth Pony led me under. This class right here was loaded, bud. Oh, yeah. And it was a good one. But no slouches in there. Manning, Manning, I'm going up to Manning. I don't want Manning. <laughs> we already watched that. Oh, this is a good class right here. Oh, All yeah, them kids ride them, ride them horses, and I mean, this, it just amazes me, they can, you know, how them horses perform for them. i tell you what, that Kohan in this class is, is I mean, he is right there. Cohan and Ali Joe Jacobs took the blue. It's the medalist and Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. That kid can ride. Oh, yeah, through. he can. Southern Attitude, Levi Parker. Knock on Wood, Sidney Klein. Maglodon, Griffin Sexton. Pride of Oopsie Doo, Friendly Voice. I'm on good behavior, Mary Beth Ellis. And Super Puncher Sterling Williams finished out, or Sterling Woodruff, Woodruff. finished mm -hmm. out the, the. I tell you what, that's surprising to see that Super Puncher down there. That's oh, a great yeah. horse. Mm -hmm. But that goes to talk about these other. Little Sterling can flat ride a thing that oh, takes yeah. after his grandfather. You reckon? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eli. Cunningham. All these kids are big buddies. Oh, yeah. Jake told me one night that uh, Allie Joe was going in the ring and she didn't see Eli in there. She said, well, Where's Eli? <laughs> she, and he said, Eli ain't here. You're in a class 17 and under. <laughs> <laughs> but these kids, I'm going to tell you what now. They, they, when you watch them, they, they just, I don't know, they just seem to get better and better as time goes oh, on. Yeah. But they work at it. Now, it's not something that they take for granted. They, they get out there and they hustle. Well, we had Eli out there at the barn riding. Yeah. a real good class. Like all them people in the background hollering and yelling for their rider. Oh, yeah. This class and lead line class gets more cheers than any. Oh yes, you're right. There she is, you Lebanon under winner, Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs. Far Ali Joe. That's a perfect horse. Oh that is a perfect horse for her.
tell you what, now that that right there oh, is yeah. a pretty pretty sight, buddy. She likes she melted on that horse right there. Just oh, go yeah. together. She does a good job riding him. That oh, yeah. horse was just, I mean, they bought him for her. Mm -hmm. and, and it was a perfect match. Oh, it was. Perfect match. Well, I believe we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors and be right back with some more Columbia Jubilee video. That'll there's, work. There's some good ones. We'll be right back in just a moment. <laughs> I had a knee replacement, so they've got me at Life Care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, we're back and we're we're sitting here talking about horses. Yeah. Well, that's all we have to talk that, about. That's all we talk about. That's all it is to talk about is horses. <laughs> if you ain't talking about horses, you ain't talking about no, much. That's right. You ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We got some more video from Columbia, so let's go watch it, and then we'll give everybody an update on what's coming up. So more victory passes. There's Bobby. There's Bobby Knight. Yeah. Here's Ferrari 308 and Dahlia Smith Har for owner Kenny Smith. You know Kenny had a wreck yeah. out there at Robbie. Mm -hmm. But uh but Somebody he hit head on. Yeah. It might be why he didn't ride and she did. Yeah. Cause he you know Bobby kept calling out Kenny's name. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny wasn't on that horse. And Dahlia does not look like Kenny. No. Uh, she I'm looks just... like her mother. <laughs> that is a good horse right there. That is a real good Amateur horse. Amateur owned and trained specialty winner. Ferrari 308. Dahlia Smith. Hey, here's the lady. Oh, yeah. She's limitless. Yes. And Molly Walters, Amateur Ladies, Marin Gildan winner. Can't get no better than that. No, you're right. And she's got that that's, slow Tennessee type That's another walk. good man right there. Right now, I'd say she is the first lady, and then Pope me and Pocahontas, and that's because Pocahontas is not as old as her. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's limited. But I'm going to tell you, I love that mare. God, I love her. She's a good sized mare. Oh, yeah, she's a big mare. She's a big mare. She does get that walk down. Right here is Epic and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farm. I talked to Mike about this horse. There's really, now, when, when you get down to it, in the show pleasure division, it's just an awesome horse. Oh, yeah. They took that tail brace off him, and he was made for that class right there. I believe that horse is awesome in any division there, Jerry. Huh? That horse is awesome in any division. Yeah. Hey, he's an, he's he a really nice is. Horse. Yeah. He's a this right nice here. Horse. Oh, yeah. That, that show pleasure class. He just... Uh, he gets it done. 
Oh, yeah, he gets it done. He's beautiful. What a nice horse. Born a Maverick and Bob Adcock. I heard a lady say, I'm going to beat that mare, and another woman said, No, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> that was, was hey, real good. He is, I don't know. That's one that the color and everything, when he comes in, you see him. No matter what you look at, you come back to him. Yeah, yeah that's right. I told Bob, I said, the good part is we ran victory pass on this horse last year from the Spring Jubilee. Uh-huh. Now we've done it again this year. And How's it getting videos. better and better every year? Those are the videos that we use to promote the yeah. Spring Jubilee this year. It was him winning. And he won because he won last year. Now he has a two-year-old. Now he's a three-year-old and he's back. We'll see him again next year. Yep. Yeah. Here's Major Bill and Dan Waddell for Kim and George Lewis, part performance winner. She said they was real tickled with this new position yeah. for, the, for this horse, this new division. Said he is just, he, he, well, he took to it. Uh huh. And when you can break like that and reach, pretty nippy. Oh, yeah. Dan doing real well. Oh, I'm Dan doing real good. Happy for him. Yep, I am too. You know George Lewis, Kim's husband? Yes. He's a super good guy. Mm -hmm. And here's a kingpin and Bob Adcock, the amateur 15 2 and under winner. You know that horse is beautiful. Oh yeah. You, the more you look at him, the way he's shaped, built, and everything, perfect. I talked to Bob. He's all what ready back home. He must have driven all night, yeah. I guess. Now I'm here to tell you that's love. Oh for, yeah. To show and drive from Pennsylvania down here. That's good. Oh, these horses is there. That's you love them. Look here. Now this is a good some guy right. right here now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. Now that four-year-old class, it's stacked. It is. They can say what they want to, and they can be this can be the favorite, that can be the favorite, but when it boils down to it. It's all depend on which the judge likes the best, That's right. Because it is stacked. He got That's another gear right yeah. then. Mm -hmm. He sure did. <laughs> this horse is getting better and better every time. Yes, he does. He's a good one. I tell you what, that R.M. Kelly, now they can say what, he, he's good. He's good, he's, he's doing a good job. Really they job. told me that he is a hard worker. Too. Yeah. Youth Pony Reserve winner, I am big enough and Maxine Beasley. I thought that little pony looked awfully good out there. Oh, yeah. It's good to promote these kids like oh, this yeah. too. Let them know. This is the future of the business right here. Tell me about it. I think all of them, every one of them when they win need to be promoted. That's right. Because they, they're the ones that's going to be the future of this industry. And Maxine and Bebe, those two little girls can ride. Yeah. I tell you what, you, I'm going to make a prediction. Whoever wins the World Grand Championship this year is going to have to beat that horse. Oh, yeah. In this division, this amateur counter class, you're going to have to beat him. Oh, yeah. Because his brain power is, and Jake have, have molded. They have molded. That horse has been good for a long time, too. He has. He's been good for a long, long time. time. Yeah. He just, he can flat get it done. Jerry Beatty had him good. Dick Peoples worked with him, got him better. Yeah. And each one of them 
gave them their touch. Oh, and yeah. He, he just keeps getting better and better. And now Jake's got him. It's going to be hard to beat. All right. We had some good ones. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, some good shows this weekend. And we, we uh, had a state class where the winner broke a band. That's a heck, I think they did that on purpose. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't have to run a big Yeah, class. that's right. That's right. right. And Dick won it with a coach. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I talked to Carol. She said that he's fine. He just uh, broke that band. And, and the, the shoe was actually flopping. Oh, OK. So that, that might be why he didn't make no big run down yeah. through there, mm -hmm. because it was flopping. flopping. But uh, anyway, he's fine. That's all that matters. Yeah. Of course, wasn't hurt. And he'll he's going to be ready to go again. Don't forget this weekend. Got to get my paper out here. I don't want to mess this up. Professional trainer show in Alabama. It's at Alabama A&M University Arena. That's when you go into Alabama. It's right there on your left. You can't miss it. Contact Gary Wayne Smith at 256-709-5661. Show starts Friday night at 6. Saturday night starts at 5. Joe Cotton and Keith Alshire is going to be the judge. I'm looking forward to talking to Joe. He, he's a good judge. Oh, yeah, now, Joe. I've, and I've Keith is, Joe too. Judge. Keith does. Yeah. I've watched, yeah. Well, I've watched Joe. I've never seen Keith. Yeah. But now I have seen Joe, and Joe does a great job. I'm also looking forward to the classic because I like that uh, that thing, Mary Dale Kilgore, two-year-old. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I really like that. That is uh, – that that's – that's something special. Call Joni Janae, 931-224-3048, and uh, get some information on it. But I'm, we'll be there. We'll yep. get there. But we're Basically. looking forward to this weekend show. You're looking forward to, you got a bunch of people coming to the bar on Saturday to look at all Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to be riding all over the place. Yep, right Roy all over Rogers the place. Roy Rogers and Gene Orchard. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, Jerry, thank you for coming over today. Thank you. We'll see everybody next week with another episode of What Horse? Go ride. Yes. Or shut up and ride. <laughs> shut up and ride. That's what we're going to do. We're going to shut up and ride. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left Hunger down low and reach high to the sky Got my rhythm down pat, so they say I'm looking like a winner in every way So when I hear somebody say, what a horse I know they're talking about me, of course And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.